everyone! In this video, you're gonna learn the different types of movement disorders. By the end of this video, you will also have the answers to all the questions that I posted on Instagram yesterday. The first one on our list is restless leg syndrome. From the name, we can figure out that patients with this condition have an irresistible urge to move their legs. It is often accompanied by a crawling sensation in their legs and itchiness. It is associated with iron deficiency anemia, uremia, and pregnancy. It usually occurs at night, so patients would also complain of poor sleep. It is managed with warm pads, massage, and by treating the underlying condition. If unresponsive to non-pharmacological methods, Pramipexol can be used. Pramipexol is a dopamine receptor agonist. So which of the following movement disorder is treated with Pramipexol? The answer is restless leg syndrome. Essential tremor usually involves the upper extremities. The tremor gets worse when a task is performed, like reaching out for an object. Patients often mention that they consume alcohol to reduce the tremor. Propranolol is the first-line treatment. Some patients also receive primidone, which is an anticonvulsant. Question number two. A lacunar stroke is most likely to cause option A, asterixis, option B, chorea, option C, hemibolismus, option D, myoclonus. A lacunar stroke is an ischemic stroke which affects the subcortical structures of the brain including the basal ganglia and internal capsule. The 3D anatomy feature of osmosis is very helpful in understanding anatomy. It has labels and you can rotate the structures to see what it looks like from different angles. One of the parts of the basal ganglia is the subthalamic nucleus. If there is a lesion at the subthalamic nucleus, patients present with a flinging motion of one arm. This is known as hemibolismus. Note that if the left subthalamic nucleus is affected, hemibolismus is seen on the right arm. Chorea is a sudden jerky and irregular movement of the extremities. Huntington disease presents with chorea. Due to the CAG repeats, there is a destruction of the putamen and the caudate nucleus of the basal ganglia in these patients. Can symptoms of chorea occur as a consequence of an infection? Although Huntington disease is characterized by chorea, it isn't the only one. Rheumatic fever can present with symptoms of chorea as well. For diagnosing rheumatic fever, we use the Jones criteria. The S of Jones criteria stands for Sydenham chorea. Asterixis is a flapping movement of the hands which looks something like this. This can be caused by Wilson disease, hepatic encephalopathy or other metabolic disorders. Myoclonus is characterized by brief jerky movements. Do you remember which dementia is associated with myoclonus? If you've forgotten, you can go check out this video on how to diagnose different types of dementia. Question number 4. Which of the following is an example of the extrapyramidal effects of antipsychotic drugs? Option A. Dystonia. Option B. Akathisia. Option C. Parkinsonism. Option D. All of the above. Antipsychotics reduce dopamine levels, so they are responsible for several extrapyramidal symptoms. Parkinsonism is easy to understand because Parkinson's disease is caused by a decrease in dopamine levels. Along with it, antipsychotics also cause dystonia and akathisia. Dystonia is a sustained contraction of a muscle. It is usually seen acutely in the setting of antipsychotic drug use. It is treated with benzotropine and diphenhydramine. Akathisia is characterized by restlessness wherein the patient can't sit still, just like bees. That brings me to the three Bs in managing akathisia, beta blocker, 
benzotropine, benzodiazepine. Apart from this, tardive dyskinesia is also caused by the use of antipsychotic drugs. It is treated with valbenazine. Question number 5. What causes intention tremor? Option A. Parkinson's disease. Option B. Iron deficiency. Option C. Huntington disease. Option D. Cerebellar dysfunction. Intention tremor is similar to essential tremor as it increases as the hand approaches the target. What differentiates the two is that intention tremor doesn't get better with alcohol and beta blockers and is caused by cerebellar lesions. Parkinson's disease is the opposite of this. The tremor in Parkinson's disease presents at rest and decreases with activity. Iron deficiency is related to restless leg syndrome and Huntington disease causes chorea. To thank you all for supporting me here, I have teamed up with Osmosis Med to give away 3 months of Osmosis Prime membership for free. Osmosis has an amazing collection of videos which has helped me strengthen my basics. Osmosis Prime also provides us flashcards, question banks and helps us make a schedule for our exams. To enter this giveaway, check my latest Instagram post. If you feel this video was useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Good luck!